So elements have been discovered so far through element 118. Uh, there have been attempts in Germany to do element 119 and 120. Those were unsuccessful so far. Uh, it would be possible to carry on those experiments here. Um, we just have to decide if that's where we should spend our effort. It, you know, can we learn more by doing other experiments? The problem is that the half-lives are getting shorter, a little bit too short to go through a standard separator if you go beyond element 120. And the real problem is the production rates are getting lower. Rather than producing one atom per day, it's maybe one atom per month or one atom per year. So the experiments get more difficult as you go to higher proton numbers. So we measure the production rate or the probability of making these new heavy elements with a, a unit called uh, the barn, it's a cross-section measurement. Basically, it's, it's a probability that if two things come together, they're gonna to fuse in the right way to make the specific combination of protons and neutrons that we are looking for. As we've gone up in atomic number, this cross-section value keeps going down and down and down. And so, the I'm not gonna remember the number off the top of my head, but for the 120 searches some years ago, the limits that were set were somewhere on the order of femto barn or less, so it's getting so incredibly small that we either have to radically change how we do these experiments so that we can change something about that fusion process, or you just have to run for a much longer period of time. So I think with that kind of limit on production with our current technology, it's just going to be a real heroic effort to get a 120 discovered at this point. Our colleagues in Russia are building a new accelerator specifically for this purpose to have more intense beams coming out. There's also work being done in the community on electronics, having faster electronics, faster detection, also on new beam materials that can be used as part of the fusion process we use to make a new element, but it is getting much more difficult with every new element that we go up. So people ask me, where do I think the end of the periodic table is? And it's hard for me to answer because who knows in 20 years what the technology would look like for, for doing some of these things. But I think in the next 10 to 20 years, we'll probably get up to 120, I hope. And at that point, we'll have to, we'll see what's going on. There are some proposals to use nuclear transfer reactions to produce heavy element isotopes. I don't really think that's gonna work either. So element 119, element 120 with present Present day technology or technology that's foreseeable in the next decade, that's probably the limit. But do you believe that we, that we will see the, the elements beyond those? Elements beyond One, 120? 120? Maybe. It's, it's, uh, it could be. I mean, if you would have asked 20 years ago, would we be making almost 100 atoms of element 115? And anybody would have said no, there's no way. And, and we're doing it. So 20 years from now, who knows what comes. Mm -hmm.